This is the regular scheduled meeting of the Town of Berlin Development Review Board. Uh, we have two items on our agenda tonight. The first item is a continuation of the appeal to zoning administrator's decision. And the second item tonight is an application by Edwards Development for a site plan review. What I'd like to do at this time is, uh, since I think everyone's here, uh, that's, that's Jermaine, is, is ask anybody that attends to give testimony before this board tonight. So please raise your right hand. Do you have your testimony before the board tonight? Oh, no. Okay. Swear to tell the truth, nothing but the truth, the matters before this board tonight on the penalties of perjury. I do. I do. I do. Thank you. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, because I was not here for the last hearing, I'm going to turn over the chair to um, Carla, who chaired the last meeting uh, for the first item, which is the continuation <coughs> of the appeal. And as everyone knows, the thing that we did is we, we recessed this so that we get to a site visit. Uh, we have done that site visit, and uh, uh, we're here just so to, to wrap this up, I think. Carla, if you would please take the chair. So at this point, um, we, I would entertain any new testimony, no reiterations of previous testimony, but any new testimony that may be related to the site visit, because we did do a site visit um, at both properties this past week. Uh, so if there's any testimony relating to that issue, otherwise I would entertain a motion to close the hearing. Is there any further testimony? Um, so moved. You go ahead. Yeah. So moved. Close the hearing. I'll second that motion. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so we will, at the end of this meeting, deliberate and issue, we issue a written Written, finding, written findings uh, on, on the appeal. Issue. Uh, and that which should be forthcoming. <coughs> Don't wait with bated breath. It's probably going to take a couple weeks. <laughs> so, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We're all set. You're all set. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for, sorry that you thank you for entertaining us for the uh, <laughs> yeah. site visits. Uh, uh, we appreciate that. And it was, it was, it was helpful. It was cool. <laughs> Good excuse to get out, I guess, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. So, uh, next on our agenda tonight, we have an application by Edwards Development for a site plan review. And uh, who is going to represent Edwards? Um, I'm John Spanktis with the Wolf Engineering. And we we'll also have here Brad McAvoy from the Modern Agency of Transportation, Tom Lozon from Edwards Development, and Richard Colburn here from DeWolf also. To Keep me honest and make sure I say something wrong. Correct. That's a line you shouldn't walk on. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll find my mistakes. Six so Rick, six Rick is no longer here. I let that go. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, would you? Is there a place where setting this up works for everybody? Or uh, going over on this side? Over there somewhere, perhaps. If you, yeah. If you have an easel, perhaps yeah. right in front of that door might be the best. Right here. Um, yeah. And what I'd like to ask you to do is give us an overview. Yeah. And then we'll go through the specific criteria. Are you familiar with our procedure? And uh, uh, entertain any questions by the board. Receive testimony from the, uh, from the zoning administrator. And then we'll go through the individual criteria. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Overview wise, it might, I thought maybe it made sense to. I can't handle it. It's crooked. Yeah, I, I will. Um, for, the, for the cameras, is it better to put back here and we turn Oh, our we heads? could do that too. Do you I want to do Bob. Uh, he's going to capture the I can move over here so I can get a <laughs> shot of that. Um, so, well, except at this angle, I don't know if you can get. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, why don't you put it back here behind us and okay. we can turn around. Yeah. Boy, uh, that's a uh, pretty. Uh, yeah, that's precarious looking. Neither dirt, dirt nor steel, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this doesn't look like it's going to hold up to any kind of hurricane. So, I thought I'd start with the existing conditions plan. This is maybe a little messy, but we'll get there. So, here's the existing building, um, Airport Road along the front. 
and here's the existing drive to, to enter the site um, and so this is the kind of the main parking lot and there's this pole barn in this area and there was this expansion of parking that was done around 2011 this little lot here and then this drive with the front parking and the expansion of the parking back here was done in 2016. And there was also, when the water system came in, we um, improved the water line and had the water connection back on this side. Um, so this, um, when you look at this parking lot, it's, it's kind of a strange jumble. There's this parking area here, the pole barn, and this parking here in a space in the middle where a stormwater comes through. Hey John, why don't yeah. you use this to point with so your hand's not covering everything okay. up. Okay, so, so there's um, stormwater from this parking lot comes this way out to a depression here uh, and crosses Airport Road um, towards the airport property. So that's kind of where we're at right now. And, um, Question for you on that. Sure, quickly. Yeah. That's the existing condition site plan. That's not the same one you gave us. Good. No, uh, I'm, I'm looking specifically at the plantings in front of the park. Yeah, the plantings um, were not on there. You're right. And I, I believe that we. You put um, in. Um, the, these plantings here um, were um, on the 2016 plan uh, and they got missed and weren't uh, planted as part of that. Mm -hmm. So um, we, in, in reviewing this, I think it, may, it might have been Tom who pointed out that those weren't in there. Um, so they have been, since that was pointed out, they have been placed in. So those, they're there those, now? They are there now. This, this is my understanding. Yes, yeah, that those the hydrangeas have been added here. We actually we had paid for them, Mr. Chairman. I, I didn't notice the contract. The contractor submitted the final bill back in sixteen that included the landscaping. So we had paid for them. I just never noticed that they didn't get done. <laughs> so they went back uh, and uh, when I when we were notified I called it to their attention, the Lajeunesse went right back and did the planning. So okay, so they're there now. They are. Yes. Okay. Good, because they're not on the site plan you gave us. You're, you're correct, they weren't. Um, and I, I missed the fact that they were supposed to be there. But I think Tom Badowski um, pointed that out to us. And okay. That situation's been rectified. Is there anything else? Oh, I've got a question. Yeah. So how do the trucks go in now, and where do they you know, go for loading? Yeah, so whatever? my, uh, and Brad can, um, Correct me if I'm wrong. My understanding is that they 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 pull in head first, and they do. I think that you said that sometimes they will pull in here, and um, they, they do a lot of jockeying around. If there's tractor trailer deliveries, typically they'll they'll come in the main access drive, drive straight ahead, and park kind of in this area to unload. We've got an electric forklift that we can, if they have a pallet or something, they can unload there. Typically, they'll back all the way into here and try to jockey into here and then drive out. I've even seen them back all the way onto oh, wow. Airport Road to get out. Um, if it's just a box truck, they'll pull in and try to turn around here and drive out. But, okay. but you do have deliveries from tractor trailers. We do, yeah. Not, not a lot, maybe at least one a week. No more than three a week, I would say. So, how many trucks does this do you have daily? Um, you just said that one to three per for, week. for like a delivery truck, like an eighteen wheeler size. Yeah, one, one a day. Three, one a day. Two to two to three per week. Oh. Right. And then you have your own vehicles that are, might have a, a small trailer. We have uh, in the large cold storage building, kind of on the here. bottom of the parking lot. We do have. Um, uh, like a dump truck, dump truck size truck or a Ford F450 or something with a trailer with the drill rig on the back of it. But that's not anywhere near the length but of the tractor that, trailer. They would not necessarily use the new entrance. It's just mainly for the delivery trucks? Or? When we get to that, they, they would actually okay. prefer to use that. Well, let's, yeah. let's wait until okay. we get to the, that specific criteria about yeah. Yeah. traffic circulation. 
Well, this is this is just an old. Oh no, I just wanted while well, he had the existing. So um, then we come to what the proposal before you is, and um, the the tenant in Vermont Agency of Transportation has a, you know uses this facility for a lot of different things, in, including vehicle storage, and they have a uh, a meeting site there that that has a capacity of a, like seventy five um, seating seat capacity meeting site. So the they're, um, the existing site is stressed for parking, and they had a, mainly had a need for additional parking. And in discussing it, the, the issue of the truck access came up as well. Uh, and so that led us to decide that the, the best thing to do would be to come up with some way that they, the trucks could have a, uh, a better route into the site uh, and safely circulate through the site and, and exit the site without having the back uh, out, you know, or potentially onto Airport Road. So the, the intention is to have this new one-way in for trucks, which could come in and circulate through the site like the, this. If necessary, they can back into the uh, unloading area here and then just simply pull back out um, and exit the site. And we also, uh, the, the parking it, on this area has been reoriented to be, you know, make more sense. Work with the um, truck access and maximize the use of the parking space. And then it, there's also the proposal to add um, as many parking spaces as we could, another 10 spaces up front to complete that. So uh, there's no work proposed on the uh, the north side of the building, just this uh, additional pavement on the west, and the, the new access and the completion of that parking here. So, um, as far as the site is concerned, you know the existing parking lot, you know, obviously is very is flat, but there is a um, an exposed ledge face here that will have to be cut back, and there'll be some regrading along this edge of the parking here to make this work. Okay, thank you. Um, While you have that up, John, is yeah. some stormwater improvements as well? There will be stormwater improvements. Um, so we, It's not on that plan? You, you it's it's schematic, really good. schematic. Well, there's, there's just the intent. So there's an existing stormwater pond here. There's also one back there for that lot, which we won't have any impact on. Um, and, but the intent is to construct a new stormwater treatment area here um, it, to meet the new 2017 um, state of Vermont rules. Uh, so in the new rules, um, infiltration practices take precedence. You have to uh, use infiltration practices when at all possible. So we'll have to uh, do, we have not made that application to the state yet. We're in the process of putting that together. Um, but what we are showing this point here um, shows the, the grading, the proposed um, infiltration or detention pond area here. Um, and the, the grading for a, a swale collecting off the edge of the parking lot here. Um, basically all stormwater from this area would go in the new closed drainage system and enter into the depression here. And there would be a new outlet control structure here, which would discharge you know, at a rate not exceeding current rates. The discharge into this existing culvert underneath Airport Road. Okay, again, we're going to go through that when we get the stormwater. Yeah. Um, so, so uh, uh, do you have any comments, Tom? Besides the question? No. <coughs> okay. No. Question by members of the board before we proceed with the criteria. Okay, uh, then let me open my book site plan for a new criteria. <laughs> 
still get used to these regulations. Um, and, and, and I would, I would, I would say one thing for the future: uh, the format you use to address these, because I, I, you have addressed all the criteria and then some in your uh, submittal. Uh, but the format you used was basically following the um, outline in the table on. But I would prefer had you follow the outline on uh, chapter 320. Okay. The future reference. Okay. I, which, I apologize for that. It's, it, it, it's the same information, it's just a different word. Okay. So, uh, um, he likes you to hear that over and over again. Yeah, yeah. Until, we, until, until we change that, uh -huh. we've got a table that disagrees with our own criteria. Okay. So, okay. Not, not your bad, but just, just for future reference, since we okay. do see you frequently here. Mm -hmm. Chapter 320 is our, is our new Bible for Berlin. For, for site plan review, yes. Um, so, um, We'll pick and choose from your okay. material, okay? okay. Uh, but we're going to go basically with that. And it does start with the first criteria. It has to do with parking and loading areas. Um, you generally address that. Did you um, have anything further you want to tell us about parking and loading? Specifically, I think the number of spaces are, are of interest to me. Yeah, I, and um, so... I, I do see that um, you have a uh, requirement for a minimum amount of parking and a maximum amount of parking. Correct. Um, and the um, parking is, I believe, based on, well, the minimum is based on the um, spaces per uh, gross floor area. Uh, I think I have that enumerated on the title sheet here. Um, so, again, you know, we're sitting there, office space of 48,000 uh, or so square feet, which were 80 spaces, and then the uh, research and development, the, mater the materials and research lab would be another nine spaces. Um, and so that comes out to 89, and then your maximum says, um, you're allowed to go up to two times that, which is, I think I have this 178. And um, we are uh, proposing that the total spaces on the site would be, you know, uh, higher than that. If my eyes serve me correctly, um, 261 is what we're showing. So that's uh, greater than the 178. But I do see that in the uh, maximum amount of parking, it says the, the Development Review, Review Board may cons condition approval of any parking in excess of the minimum on the applicant, uh, surfacing additional area with pervious materials and or constructing it in phases as warranted to meet future demand. And I, I, I would uh, say that it's my understanding that the Agency of Transportation is at that point um, where they uh, have indicated they need the uh, uh, parking that we're proposed to uh, meet the, the current demand. I have a question. Yeah. Whatever your calculation with the lab and how you arrived at nine? The well, th there's a uh, uh, just a square foot uh, basis, and we, we just uh, it said that there was. 48,125 square feet um, at one per 600 square feet, which came up to 80, and then the research lab um, the B trans indicated was approximately 8,000 square feet. How many square feet? No, it's more. No, it's 40. 40,000. So 40,000 square feet. So the lab is on the first floor. It's a that was the last addition that Capital City Press did to the building. It was a 20,000 square foot warehouse, which we then converted to 20,000 square feet of lab space on the first floor, and 10,000, it's 40,000 in total, 10,000 square feet on the second level houses the HVAC system, which is pretty extensive because it's a 
materials and research lab and the venting that is required, the humidity levels, everything is temperature controlled. So there's 10,000 square feet of mechanical area on the second floor and 10,000 square feet of office. So the total occupied space in the materials and research lab is actually 30,000 square feet. Rather than the 8,000, that's correct. And, yeah. And that's so that would bring your to the base 40, of 000. 79 up fairly significantly and keep the total within the board's calculation. The, the double total, we wouldn't be over double. Well, if that was... So you're, you're saying there's 40,000 square feet of lab? There's, there's 40,000 square feet in the lab facility total, 10,000 of which is mezzanine for, is mechanical, mm -hmm. not yeah. occupied. No, no, no. The way our, our language is here, though, it's gross square feet. So it that would be 30. There's a full second. Yeah, so it, it, it really, hmm. uh, it frankly, I, I've never seen it done that way, but that's the way it was written up. Okay. Uh, it's based on gross square feet um, uh, as opposed to uh, but habitable. Habitable or usable. I see. You know, as opposed to subtracting hallways out and bathrooms out and yeah. stuff like that, we now just use the gross square feet. Yeah. Um, so, um, what's the total gross square feet? 40,000. 40,000 for the lab and 40,000 for, 40, for the office? The, the, Correct. The, Your calculation on the office was spot on. 48. It was 48. Yes, 48 is fine. So it would be 40. 40 it would be so 88,125,000. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me. So, square feet. Uh, so that nine number would go to 44. Correct. Um, and then 44 plus the 80. So that is almost close to 300. That was Correct. And in terms of our utilities, we're currently rated to have 225 employees. And the reason I remember that number is when they had the unfortunate sprinkler release at National Life, they had to relocate um, a bunch of employees to this facility fairly immediately. And I had called Tom to make sure that we weren't, in, number one, to make sure he was aware of it, that on a temporary basis, they had relocated roughly 100 employees, and I wanted to make sure that, you know, everyone was aware of it and we weren't running on the wrong side. And Tom assured me, you're still fine because you're, you're rated for 225 occupants. And I'm not familiar with this table yet that we're using, but we do have, we also have, this is for office space, and then now we have seating for, um, a meeting space. Right, yes. 75. And, and you indicate that it's, it's not uncommon to have uh, conferences there with up to 75 people. Certainly, see the conference. I don't know what this is defined as, but it's one per employee plus one per. <clears throat> There's no definition of that. I don't know, this Public part. safety facility? Yeah. Yeah. Um, But if with, with your revised calculation, with, within the maximum amount yeah. allowable. Yes. Um, we are. We're, well, I, I think I, without um, adding anything for public assembly, I think I came up with 248, uh, which is less than the 261. Um, 261. Yeah. yeah. Um, Yes, yeah, that's what I have, 248 as well. So we, we, we need to come up with justification for another uh, 13. Well, this also doesn't take in, this gross fair food does not take into account vehicles stored there. Correct, which mm. we, we store 25 vehicles. I think there's about 25 either fleet vehicles or assigned vehicles for it's a, it's workers. A, it's a new table to us, but I, I, you have to allow for that. I mean, that's, 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 those are, yeah. while those vehicles may leave during the day, mm -hmm. most of them are done. There. Yeah. Uh, nonetheless, it's it's there's a period of time during the day when people arrive, park yes. before they go. Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's so so running around 25 right now. Some pooled fleet vehicles that people can sign out, and then around 20 that are assigned to specific individuals. Mm -hmm. 
So if you added the 25, that would get us to 273 um, spaces. Uh, um, We've struggled with having too much space. Yeah. Right. Totally, and I, and I, and I, I, I mean, with a lot of this area that's not being, I, 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 I promise you to two more. Yeah. So I, I totally applaud the, the town for <laughs> taking that into account and, and trying to not pave the universe um, right. unnecessarily. And one other interesting but perhaps mitigating fact, Mr. Chairman, that building serves as the alternate seat of government. In the event so Montpelier were to flood, yeah. Yeah. I, in the event Montpelier were to flood, that's, uh, that's where she was going. She was pointing yeah, out the city yeah. government. You know, the building is fully functional. It has a generator. It can function on its own. So, in the event of a you know flood or some other issue, um, that's not going to be for government. It'd be one of the few places where the state meets and isn't in the floodplain. The northern, yeah. the, the, the northern. <laughs> the 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 I was going to say national facility, one per employee plus <laughs> one per right. certain amount of square feet. So. Yeah, it almost prevented them from occupying it because it was too far above the floodplain. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but they consented, so it all worked out. This is being recorded, you know. That. <laughs> <laughs> um, are there any questions about parking? No. So so this board's comfortable that they have more than attic. The, the, they're looking for two sixty one that. Our regulations will allow us, and you're going to give us some narrative back. Some revised narratives some and revised yeah. calculations. Yeah. We, yeah. we would like the revised narrative. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Showing more yeah. of that. Yeah. 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 Um, because I, I do think your your logic for the 289 spaces makes some sense. It, it just it, it um, it's not based on the same criteria. Mm -hmm. um, it's based on an older criteria. Um, so what we'd like to do is have you make sure that the new criteria work here. And I think they do. I think when we put in count for the fact it can be the emerging public safety area, mm -hmm. uh, that it is a meeting place. And then I recognize that the meetings may not necessarily occur during the same time of day that the working time is, but are the meetings typically during the daytime or are they typically? Uh, most of them are. Yeah. Yeah. But how many employees did you say were there in the building? It says 180 here. Yes. When with full, full occupancy, including temporary people, there'd be about 180. But probably 60 percent of those people are field staff, and they're on the road uh, every day. So. Yeah. So, but they base, come though. and start there, and, and they the typically start their day there. Yes. Any other questions? Uh, just, I, just before we leave parking, I just would note that um, they also asked that we um, provide space for uh, vehicles that are a little larger than normal so that the, um, we, we're showing striping that's nine and a half feet wide, not the um, nine foot minimum of your um, regulations. Might pick up a precinct shot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, well, the regulation is the minimum. That's the minimum width, minimum depth, which is 919. Yeah. Um, um, so we've addressed, we've talked about minimum amount of parking, and you obviously um, see that, in fact, we've seen the maximum, but uh, you're going to give us revised figures on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, based on our criteria. Um, loading areas? There's no change to the loading area. It's, um, as was uh, noted, pretty much in the center of the um, south face of the, of the building. Okay. But what, with this application, it improves the, the access. access and facilitation of the loading dock in that loading area. It looks as though uh, the trucks would be coming in at the opposite direction now, right? Correct. So Correct. the loading area does change. I mean, you know. Uh, yes. Yeah, so uh, as uh, Brad indicated previously, uh, vehicles pulled straight in 
and they just unload it off the back of the truck. We would try to work around where they could offload just because they didn't really have any other way mm -hmm. to jockey around. Mm -hmm. So we would typically have to run to find somebody who could operate the forklift to try to get them unloaded. Even though a lot of our deliveries we require that they come prepared with a lift gate, 90% of the time they don't. So we at least have the capability on site to, to get them offloaded and, and out of our previous path coming out of the lab. So the loading area would be the same, but the, the truck would be at 180 degree, degrees uh, different orientation with the, uh, the back of the vehicle at, facing the loaded, this uh, dock on this corner of the building. There's a couple overhead doors there that we would typically bring stuff into but that location won't really change it's just but now they can back be, uh, they can back into that loading they could loop around the corner and back, back up in, a little closer right. rather than us having to load them unload them from the opposite okay. end which Im improves their access definitely so yeah so as well as our employee safety we've had yeah. a couple people get bumped by a right. truck because this driver's not paying attention. So. Paul, did you have a question? Well, no, I, I, the next one, the circulation. Yeah, yeah. So um, mm -hmm. let's go to that vehicle access and circulation. Um, so I can just read uh, the, um, the existing site's access from Airport Road. Um, and that access is not proposed to change. Um, we are proposing this new curb cut to the south um, and it's proposed for one-way access in for the uh, WB65 vehicles as well as um, V-Trans's own um, truck vehicles to, uh, that are stored in the area of the, the pole barn. Um, The um, that new access, the new curb cut you're proposing, have you gone to the select board with that for approval? Yes, yes, yes. that was I went on Thursday. 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 Yeah. They gave tentative, tentative approval based on the DRB's review of this application. Now, your spacing between your two accesses does not meet minimum standards. That's correct for per um, B72. I, or B71, B71. B71. Um, it's, uh, but we feel that that's mitigated by the fact that this is just being used as a yeah. one way in only. Yeah. Um, the um, one concern I have with that a little bit is, uh, I, I know you intend to put a sign that says do not enter. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I would like to see something stronger than that. You know, people have a habit of sort of ignoring stuff and <laughs> don't have a suggestion, but uh, it's it's really one truck traffic only, mm -hmm. entering ent entering only, and 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 I want to be certain that the the, the um, uh, it says I think do not enter is the sign you put on there, yes, the sign you proposed, right, for, for facing yes. toward facing toward the airport road, right, yes, yeah. And um, and I think the ought to emphasize is one way traffic only, in addition to the fact that it's do not enter. Just okay, one way, and that should uh, no exit. Uh, I, I don't have a sign in mind, and okay. I'm sure there's the manual for uniform traffic control devices right. has an appropriate sign somewhere. Yeah, but I, I want to be I want to be clear to um, all the users that. Basically, this is not intended for an exit. Yeah. Our internal traffic safety section is located in that building, so they were also going to look at signage to make sure we had so. appropriate signage on not just that drive, but also our other our existing drives, just to make sure that yeah. traffic is being directed where they need to go. So, so I, I would like something stronger than just do not enter. Um, it's it's uh, clearly indicated as one way traffic only, um, and it's for truck traffic only. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's actually n wouldn't be safe exiting from there. It's not good sight distance. Mm -hmm. But so, Mr. Chair, do you see the necessity of, of pavement marking on that on the if someone wanted to 
exit out the truck entrance, something saying, you know, written on the pavement, mm -hmm. not an exit or something, you know? No, I think that, oh. well, I, I, I guess I would ask a revised signage package from VTrans that basically conforms the man for the uniform, uniform, uniform traffic control devices. God, I hate that terminology. Um, yeah. <laughs> What's it? But uh, it's something to make it clear that it's it's really um, uh, it's one-way traffic only, yeah. and it's not an exit. Rather than the okay. enter. I don't okay. think the design enter does it for me. The okay. problem with pavement markings is they not only fade away, but if it's covered with snow or something, yeah. you mm -hmm. can't see. Of course, yeah. so I, I think I think it's just good signage, and, and that might be the sign on each side or something like that. Okay. Uh, but. Well, with all the plow trucks, they should be getting. I uh, know. <laughs> with, 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 um, you know, with that many employees leaving basically at the same time of day. No, actually, yeah. it's not. That's not. We actually have people arriving in the morning, anywhere from five thirty until eight, and people leaving at the end of the day between two thirty and five. There's very staggered people coming in and out for. But full, still, full -time there's, there's still, still a lot of people exiting, and yeah. you know, it's it's. Uh, it's Tendency for people to shortcut. Mm -hmm. so. so that truly is seen as an entrance only for those three trucks a week, and also the, the, the drillers, the trucks. drillers rig, yeah. Yeah. the drillers sure. yeah. that use the coal storage. Okay, they've got yeah. a, so a larger it's size it's truck got a with, a trailer. Trailer, with a trailer. It's got a trailer. On it. They have so. two two trailer mounted drill rigs where now they would come in the existing drive and loop to the right and then have to try to get turned into the building. And if we're going to add that parking on that left edge towards the airport road, that's going to really cut their turning radius down to try to get into there now. So. Well, frankly, and also if you've got regular box trucks, but they're making deliveries, mm -hmm. you want them to come that way. Yes. Also, because what you want them to do is, is come around and back up to the delivery yeah. area. As opposed so it to sounds more like deliveries only. It's deliveries, it? really, it's what it is. Yeah. And, and the drill crew, right? Mm -hmm. so. But... Um, Will you have an internal memo to your employees about this, this yep, practice here? Yep. Yeah, and we'll also have all of our deliveries. We'll try to get them on board as when they show up for delivery, saying all future deliveries, please use the new access and mm -hmm. try to get. Most of the time, it's the same. The Crystal Rock truck, UPS, FedEx, that kind of thing. So, um, With the exception of that entrance, everything else is two-way. Is that correct? Correct. What's your width between your um, parking spaces? 22. 22. Okay. Um, questions or comments on circulation, access? Yes. Um, you're putting in a culvert under that access, right? We are, yes. Okay. That has been approved by the select board also? It, it was oh, it's outside of the right of way. Outside the right way. It is a, we put it outside the right of way because there's a, uh, a force main right there, and we're unsure of the depth, so we don't want to get digging too far down under that right away there, okay. further than we need to. So we moved it back out of the way, so there's no conflicts. Which way does that drain? Is that drain toward that same 21 inch culvert? Yeah, yes. it goes north and then across Airport Road. Okay. Yeah. So everything goes to that 21 inch culvert. Yep. Um, question by the board. Uh, not familiar with this format, so I'm working on laboring through it a little bit here. As the circulation, I guess this is where they also talk about um, uh, public transit, bike, bicycle access, and pedestrian access. I think you've addressed pedestrian and bicycle access. Yes, yeah, just the, um, said that the there we're not um, proposing any additional pedestrian or bicycle access. The um, then we're not modifying any building entrances or walkways to them, but there are existing um, paved you know, or concrete walkway accesses to the building. But we aren't proposing anything new. Okay. I, I just have a question about that. Um, because you're increasing the number of spaces, do you, aren't the handicapped spaces 
it's supposed to be a percentage or? There, um, I think it's basically about two per 50 um, is the rough number. Uh, but any, in any event, the, the, um, there already was an excess of, okay. of um, so you would meet spaces the required. requirements the, with, the, um, with the With the expansion, there was only seven required, and there was already nine um, okay. uh, handicapped spaces on site. Okay. Landscaping and screening. So um, we're not proposing any new landscaping or screening with the site. The site, um, there's already um, plantings al along the airport road. And so the only modification we're making is actually the removal of the trees for the, um, the drive um, mm -hmm. to allow for the uh, new curb cut. And we haven't proposed any additional plantings for this. Plan. Yeah, this is where I picked up the hydrangeas being on the Good catch. Good. They're adding hydrangeas. That's really nice. <laughs> um, okay, any questions about that from the board members? Have you looked at our screening requirements? Um, I have to say I've not looked at your screening requirements. They are new. Uh, this is 3204I. 3204. Which comes before J. I think it applies, but I don't need to <laughs> It doesn't apply oh, to the This will not include converting existing and previous surfaces to parking. Applicants must plant at least one tree within or abutting the parking area for every five new parking spaces. Um, Is it already impervious though? No, it's, uh, well, it's well, sledge, no. sledge but some, 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 some of it. I, not, you, not over this here, though. This new impervious yeah. um, area, the new uh, parking space, so there's 10 here, in, uh, new impervious, and there's one, two, three, 10, 10. I count 26 here, plus the 10, there's 36 um, spaces on new impervious. The majority of the newly created spaces really can't even be seen from the airport road. Yeah, this isn't actually called screening, it's just about when you're, it, it's, it says, it's parking lot landscaping. <laughs> Um, and it's related to storm water? Well, no. no. <laughs> so I would say I'm going to have to look at that section. And then shrubs is one for every ten. Right. Um, so that would be like in the order of seven trees and we'll call four shrubs. Yes, but there are existing trees on the, the airport I road. I mean, what <laughs> we've actually tried landscaping on the south side of the existing access way, yeah. and because of the pines, the large pine trees, we can't even get flowers to grow 
and, or maintain flowers where the sign area is. You know, we've planted flowers there and then the pine needles come off the trees and kill them. <laughs> so on the north side, um, there's some significant landscaping, including the hydrangeas. Right. Um, I mean, could we plant trees for the sake of planting trees? Sure, but I don't know that they'd serve a functional purpose or survive the salt shed coming off Airport Road. The hydrangeas are, are further up. Um, they're, they, they're in a, this alternate pattern approximately 20 feet off of the existing, where we're proposing to put the 10 new spaces, or is it 10 or? There's 10 new spaces 10, there. Where those 10 new spaces are, the hydrangeas actually start at those existing, at those, the, what would be the new five, and then work their way back. Does it make sense line. to extend those hydrangeas up to where you're putting in the new parking spaces? We'd be happy to do that. I'd have to look to see if we haven't already. I mean, as I, I went up to check their work, and, and we'd be happy to do that. The hydrangea if they, you have if they are in front, of, in front of the parking spaces you previously yeah, the existing got spaces. approval for, yeah. uh, but they did not install. We'd be happy to extend and those. I'm just thinking maybe we extend those hydrangeas there. I, I'm trying to think what other there might be room for there. There. one more, but uh, they're already yeah, shipped over. Yeah. How about to the south of the project, south of the parking area? Uh, if I sense is south of the project is shallow to bedrock, it is. You're not going to plant eight trees. No. Am yes. I wrong about that? You're correct. No, no I, I think no. you could plant some shrubs. Yeah, and, um, would you uh, swap out shrub, additional shrubs for trees? Would that be um, a potential? What do we have there now on the south side? I think there's a, there's a little. A, Wooded, uh, a little patch of wooded area there. Yeah, it's not. Um, I don't think it's too dense, but it's just an overgrown meadow up on top of that ledge there between uh, the Jehovah's Witness and the parking here. Yeah, okay. I'd say it's you know it's probably ten feet vertically from the parking lot up to the top of that ledge there. So the Jehovah's Witness kind of looking up over everything anyway. So just side. for reference, the intent of this, when it was written, was that there be islands with trees for shade, et cetera, et cetera. And that was the, that was the adding trees, adding shrubs. It doesn't really fit with, <laughs> with this project. Um, I think that the existing site is quite nicely landscaped. And, yeah, um, we're not anti-tree. <laughs> we're no, anti-tree. <laughs> anti <-tree. laughs> We're totally open to suggestions. We just I want to make a suggestion here. Sure. That that whatever dollars <coughs> that is, that the applicant um, uh, writes a check to that amount of money to the uh, Berlin Conservation Committee and let them plant the trees where they think it best fits in the town. Do we have any? I'm, I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah, I'm not no. comfortable with that. Just, that's, that's a precedence we've never used before. I think it's something we need to discuss um, uh, in, in some way for the select board, I think. Um, I, I'm trying, I, 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 I'm using Google Map. I'm looking at the area between Jehovah Witnesses and, and that mm. new parking area. And I'm having difficulty perceiving what's really there. Yeah, uh, well, mm. Mr. Chairman, if I look at the uh, the, the grading plan. So there, there is this. There, you know. So here we are. Um, the existing pines on Airport Road. There is this depression of the existing stormwater area. This word uh, we know is shallow to bedrock. But then there is this. Uh, there is an area of. If you Google Maps, I don't know if you yeah, can see, see I, that. I, I there see is it. some yep. um, some vegetation here. Um, but the, the, the maybe you know we could maybe extend that, uh, add to a few more trees. That it's not going to provide anything in the way of yeah. um, of an, an visual enhancement to the site. The only other possible area could be a few in um, along the south side of the entry drive. Well, Carla, you mentioned the idea of having. Shade. I assumed you were talking about in, in the, the parking, parking lot. Yeah. So, so breaking the parking lot up a little bit. Right. Picture a mall parking lot. The idea is that there's islands with trees and right. white mm -hmm. and green space and shade. That mm -hmm. was the that's the 
Understood. theory Understood. under this parking Understood. landscaping. But it's oh. new to us, so we're trying to figure yeah. it out. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, it's yeah. obviously going to cut down on parking spaces right. to put right. landscaping we're, in the parking lot. Um, the, yeah, the, the, the intent of the project was to try to <laughs> get as many spaces as, uh, as the occupant uh, and could. It seems like the intent of this, though, is to I break mean, that up a little bit. So. <laughs> right. Is that a little clear? That's cold storage. That's the cluster of trees. All this is there. This is all the current shrubbery and trees. There's an opportunity for some plantings <laughs> along the entrance road. Here. Uh, yeah. Now you're going to be putting in that new uh, pond, or it's, it's probably going to be a sand filter. Yes. Um, uh, but you have an opportunity to put some plantings there. Uh, well, we could drive bring the them along the, on, along the banks of that as well. Well, I was thinking more, more about the entranceway. Around, around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking more there. Yeah. And I do think there's an opportunity to extend the hydrangeas up one or two more. Sure. We're going to extend them in the and, uh, region. And I'm really just not familiar. I, my sense is Jehovah's Witness can't even see over here. Is that based on the terrain? I think that from the parking lot here, they can look right over. That's my yes. recollection. Yes. So, I think the well, they yeah. look over from a certain height. Mm -hmm. We're lower in elevation than they are, yeah, so yeah. they actually they look more at the roof than they do <laughs> the building. Mm -hmm. We also have to consider with any new kind of things, snow removal, mm -hmm. and where that's going to. Right. Cool. We we should set them back from the drive and, sort of, yeah. and not yeah. limit sight distance as well. But um, there's a fair amount of parking there, and you can see it now as you're driving by. Mm -hmm. um, so I think something maybe along the driveway there, um, stay the drain is up there. That would make me happy. I, I think this is um, this is not your classic new parking right. commercial mm -hmm. right. type thing. And there are this is this light industrial. Yeah. It's, it's, um, it's not commercial, it's not, you know, residential, it's like that. So I'd be, I'd be comfortable with that, how would you grow? Well, I mean, there is a, yes, we have a little bit of flexibility to consider the existing, what the, the, what's, visit, what's on the existing site. Um, so I think, I think that would be fine. So we would be going with the um, additional trees uh, based on the amount of spaces that are on the uh, the new impervious that and we and I think they can be shrubs. Do you think I want to say they can be shrubs? Yeah, I, I think. Um, uh, well, I, 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 I came I, with seven. I, I believe I came with seven trees and three, shrubs. Four shrubs. And three or four shrubs, yeah. and yeah. I, I think that we can make that work. Yeah, okay. I, if we could request you revise the landscape plan to reflect that, um, I think we're on the same we're on the same page here. Just to ex extend the thought though, a little bit, because these are new yeah. regulations and we're trying to understand what Carla brought up. Uh, if we were to just, you know, do a mind experiment for a little bit, there are currently some uh, uh, islands in that in that plan. Um, what would be the implication of suggesting that tree shrubs would ever go there? No, you can answer. They're actually, I think, I think not curved they're islands. They're actually sir. painted. They're painted islands. islands. So, you know, in practice, a snowplow will wipe them out. So we'd be replacing them, you know, every year. Um, they they just do. <laughs> what well, looks like an island's going to be a painted tree. I'm just trying to think of how yeah. to yeah. conform to the regulations. I was that yeah. Too. Yeah. But, but on the other hand they would only be required to do it for the new parking. So right. then they would have trees in just that one area and no well, so the number they could put on, you know. There. That's what I'm thinking, on yeah. Each end or whatever, but uh, if it's not. But that's, yeah. Well, I'm wondering, are we saying that, therefore, the suggestion in these regulations that we break up a parking lot like that, in fact, is counterintuitive to snow plows or it absolutely yeah. is yeah but that's what we're, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're trying to learn this uh, well that's what we always struggled with and for years <laughs> you know I, I remember when we first looked at the mall shopping center we first looked at uh, uh, Berlin mall here it was always every, yeah regulators always wanted to have trees 
practically speaking, between the salt and the plowing and everything else, it just doesn't work very well. And um, I have seen some successfully do where not every lane, but every alternate lane or so, you can you can put an island in, but you can't do too much because if you do too much of it, you, then you can't manage it. I mean, if you think about the Bear Montpelier Road, you know, some of those sites down there, you know, the idea being if those were to be reconstructed, you can put, right. you can create a, a right. sidewalk and a, a, and a barrier with, with shrubbery or trees along the road, you know, to, to redevelop the site and make it a lot more attractive and, looking. And to help with stormwater, too. Yeah, so yeah. there are sites where, you know, there's no landscaping, and this makes perfect sense, but you happen to have a fair amount of landscaping, so it's mm -hmm. a little, little more difficult. But <laughs> I think if they, you know, if they could add yes, some, I agree. some trees and shrubs, that would be great. Yeah. So we'll leave it... Uh, uh, then you will provide us with a revised landscaping plan and you will provide some additional shrubbery and some additional trees considering those areas that we've mentioned, not necessarily exclusive to those. <laughs> you still know, it's got, it's got to work, it's got to work physically. Yep. Uh, you can't plant them on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> or in a road. <laughs> or if you do that, you won't let The, um, I have lost where I am. We're, we're at outdoor lighting. Yeah, uh, this is where we depart from their bottles to ours. But let's talk about outdoor lighting because we can go through, pass through, through that pretty quickly. Yeah, um, we aren't proposing any additional uh, lighting with this. Uh, there is um, lighting on the building, and I believe there is some lighting in the parking lot as well. Oh no, far. Where we're proposing the new area a lot, there already is some right. existing, yeah. existing pole mounted down throw lights in that area, plus some building mounted lighting. So we wouldn't we wouldn't need any additional lighting. Okay. So, um, okay, you've not provided us with a lighting plan or anything like that. So just where these spaces here, are there existing lights? There isn't that front lot there. Yeah, okay. I'm just thinking, you know, people getting off work at 4.30, it gets pretty dark in winter. Um, yeah, you actually, well, we talked about signs oh, earlier in the general day. The, 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 yeah. the only signs you're proposing are directional signs. And, Correct. And, out of order, I suggested we needed something stronger than just do not enter. Mm -hmm. um, you, you proposed two signs, do not enter and truck entrance only or something like that. Mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with the truck, the truck entrance only. Um, uh, generally, that will be observed, although some people think they're picking up the truck. Um, would you, I yeah, have the I truck have. license plate. Any <laughs> 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 more deliveries only? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we were straight in that language, okay. give us a revised sign sheet. Okay. So the, the, just clarification, sorry, it came back to a topic on lighting plans, just to make sure. It does say that it's required in the case where, unless you're in rural or shoreland conservation of land, let's see, uh, applicants for major site plan approval must submit a lighting plan prepared by a qualified professional lighting designer or engineer. That's 3205B. But they aren't changing the lighting, right? We're not adding the lighting. We're not proposing any additional lighting. All right. I'm just wondering because, yeah, you know, the question would be, does it cover the existing yeah, I mean, that's why the, the purpose of the light plan is to understand if it covers the uh, uh, the new um, uh, parking. <laughs> but I, I do understand there are no changes. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it does say applicants for major site plan approval must have a lighting plan. And I think the presumption is if you're proposing lighting, <laughs> new lighting. I believe we did on the... When we did, we did. The, the previous expansion, yeah, right? There was a submission for that. There was. Uh, 
I'm comfortable with that lighting. Had there been the lighting, well, oh, if there's yeah. new lighting okay. proposed, I would want to see a lighting plan. Right. We want to see cut sheets. We want to see everything. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. We have downcast. Cut yeah. 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 yeah, And we're finding. And we do have the one. We're finding that cutoff as an extreme new meeting. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm trying to get caught up here. Signs. We went through signs, right? Well, in my, in my mind, I think we're done with signs. Mm -hmm. You're not proposing any other signs than the directional signs. Correct. Which are. Sure. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. really only has to do with traffic circulation. Right. Um, interestingly enough, before we get to erosion and the stormwater, we get to uh, outdoor use areas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you do discuss outdoor loading this area. And actually, um, we are requesting removing the outdoor use areas from the application, is my understanding. Um, we're not sure yet. The, the lab would like to create a small little, almost just like a little pole barn pavilion way in the back of the property just to have a couple picking tables that can have a cover over it. But it'd be a very minor structure, and they haven't totally decided if that's something that's going to happen or not. Um, and I think there was some, I, what was the discussion of like wanting to remove that from the application? That, um, I think Tom about. and I had a quick discussion about it, and uh, it was something that when it does get done, because we didn't have design board or anything done at this point, uh, we were going to take it out, and it was something that Tom could approve himself administratively. administratively at a later date. So it would be a pretty minor structure. So the, in, um, I think there are uh, a couple mentions of it in my letter. And there were um, item eight, outdoor seating and storage. Mm -hmm. So we would want to strike that. That we um, are not proposing that. And then also in the uh, in the renewable energy discussion, it mentioned that as well. That there were. We had a discussion with uh, solar. Solar uh, that that's been taken off the table and removed from the application as well. Okay. Um, You're going to revise the narrative. Yes. Why well, don't yeah? Just it's right. Nice clear. It's been spirit right. stricken. The next section here we have is 3208, which is performance standards. And you do address that noise, glare, odors, vibration. That's an interesting one. Yeah. Um, only to state that there's no change in use of the building um, and no additional outdoor um, structures or, or Chillers or anything proposed for this. It's simply the um, and you don't ex project. you don't expect an increase in the in the number of vehicles necessarily. It's just to accommodate existing vehicles mm -hmm. coming in. The existing employees as well as mm -hmm. the existing truck traffic. That's, um, the, occasional, the occasional meeting with the large conference room. It's probably one of the largest agency has so. Once or twice a month, they may have 40, 50 people in there, but it's not used as frequently. But that's happening now, too, right? It's been happening, yeah. Yeah, since we occupied the world. Erosion control. Erosion control. We, um, this project will disturb more than an acre, uh, so we will have to do a site-specific erosion control plan. Um, and, uh, for the, you know, to meet the state of Vermont standards for the um, construction general permit, and we will forward that to the board. And you'll be amending your construction general permit for the state. Correct. And you'll forward that. Actually, you get forwarded that permit, don't you? I do not. You do not. Not to, not to, not this not to, has to be signed uh, um, and posted. Uh, not anymore. They took that out. It, 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 yeah. Now the the state will notify as needed when needed, so we don't have so to do that anymore. But so that 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 owner is posting uh, uh, yeah. in every town office yeah. doesn't happen anymore. No. 
So, but you say in your text that you will provide us with a copy. Right? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. sure. And obviously, your approval will be conditioned upon. Understood that. Understood. So. And um, um, what is it? Um, what are you? What are your proposals for a roach control? And it would be the tip of stabilized construction entrance and silt fence where appropriate, and erosion control matting on any um, steeper slopes, uh, and the general um, seeding mulch, uh, meeting the, uh, the specified you know, time frames of no surface area greater than such and such exposed for more than seven days. Your ledger move will be done how? Uh, it's my understanding that um, we believe it to be a fairly soft ledge mm -hmm. and that expected can be done with uh, hydraulic right, yeah, um, ripping. ripping. Okay. So you're not proposing any plastic? It's, hopefully yeah. we won't have any okay. plastic. Uh, mm -hmm. Our, our, our go-to is uh, um, assuming that we'll be able to do it with, with ripping and, and hydraulic. We've had to remove ripping. some ledge for the previous build-out on the far end lab lot, and it, was, it came up pretty easy. Mm -hmm. I think we would want to be notified if you have to resort to blasting. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Stormwater management? You would give us some more detail on that, please? I know you're going to give us a copy of the application. Correct. And now your permit will be conditioned upon you getting approval from the state. Correct. But, uh, specifically, what do you have in mind? So, specifically, um, the, uh, we're adding closed drainage. Uh, there's some existing problems with drainage in front of the building now. We will uh, try to improve that with this uh, proposal. So um, the, the drive comes in at a negative slope off the road, 2% to, to a low point here, and then comes up at a gradual slope. Um, peaks here. The, the new pavement will be um, model pitched towards a, a grass well here and then to a low point where it would be picked up by a catch basin here and then flow of this um, catch basin goes up and out this way and into the um, what will most likely be an infiltration basin here um, and we'll pick up the existing roof water. Um, You're not proposing any regrading? So, so the only um, changing in grading is shown in um, gray here. So the, the gray is redeveloped area, uh, changing in the gray, minor ch changes in grading of the pavement here. And then the, this, what is kind of yellow is the, the new uh, pavement, new impervious here. So this dashed line um, is the edge of the um, changes in grade. Um, so this will, um, this will stay the same. And is that currently sloped toward the building or how this, you, you have catch basins proposed between the building and the parking? There is a catch basin here, yes. Um, so this is very flat um, and it, it roughly um, is, the, there's a rough high point here which um, shallow slope out towards the, um, and will directly enter this treatment swale here and then from roughly here it um, slopes back in this direction and will enter either that catch basin or this catch basin here. This, so this whole lot will end up being uh, put through this. Um, and where's the roof drainage go now? So there's the root right now these roof drain locations um, come out and there are, there are gutters that just exit on them on the over the curb onto the pavement. So are you going to connect them or are you just going to collect them off the pavement? Uh, it, it, this plan is showing um, connection. picking them up. Okay, so you're going to pick up the, the downspouts and 
Yeah, so the, the, you, like I said, there's a, an area here that's uh, water tends to pond in. Um, and and I'm sure that's a serious freezing issue in the winter, is my understanding. And that'll all be right. So you'll have two points of discharge, two treatments on this side. You did on the other one on the other side, too. Um, Correct. Yeah, that's the uh, one there. Um, and there'll be this one here. There is a, an existing discharge off the back here, and that will remain. Uh, the only, there'll be less um, yeah, going that way because it. what was going into this structure will be lessened by the addition of the And you've looked at that 21 inch culvert. Yeah, so I mean, we know that we have to discharge at a rate that it can um, handle. I haven't looked at it to see um, its integrity or um, what its condition is. That discharge is on the state land, does it not? I believe it does. You may just want to look at that. Just yep. to, you know, 21 inch color doesn't strike me as terribly. No, it's, it's not an awesome. awesome. <laughs> no, no, it's not. But we would. Not to, not over tax. Well, you have talked to him. I did. I've talked to the road foreman today about it. Um, he thought it, uh, the integrity was, was decent uh, to confirm that. Uh, he thought the size was probably adequate with what you're doing here. He did say on the, on the discharge end of it on the state property that the, the, the pipe is pretty much at grade. Uh, and he's wondering when you're doing your excavation if you can go over there and add a little bit of freeboard coming out of that pipe so it has, so it doesn't. Improve the outlet? Yeah, so the sediment doesn't you know, get back. Okay. Um, any questions by the board on storm water? And you haven't done your calculations on the flows yet? No, we have not. That's um, top of the list of things to do right now. Uh, those are our standards. You, you do address the conditional use standards because you use that table. They're not applicable. <laughs> um, this application, this is a, it's just a site plan yeah. approval. That's our bad because the... Overachiever. <laughs> <laughs> Tom will not be paid for that. Uh, <laughs> it's a lump sum contract. <laughs> we, um, and you say there will be no no new traffic added at that point. That's my understanding. Yes. Okay. Any questions by board members? Is that stuff we've covered? Well, I just want to add no, that. Well, we get some loose ends. That we Chief Wolf said that um, no impact to the Berlin police. I did not hear from uh, fire. Fire. Oh. Okay. Now you are on public water and public sewer now, right? Yeah. Correct. Okay. Um, not that this remains to this application, but uh, the. Um, so we're looking for a revised uh, landscaping plan from you. Yes. Uh, I don't think we need a revised narrative of, of this, what you've deleted. At, okay. at the record. I'd like to. Yeah, I'd like to have the, the parking. The parking. The parking. We're looking for. Right, we're yeah. looking for a revised parking. Yeah. Calculation. And according to that, satisfies our ordinance, the requirements of our ordinance. Recognizing that, I think we have some flexibility here as a board. And you're going to take out the two sections? Yes, I think I just like provide you with a new letter saying yeah. like the, yeah. you know, addressing the, the landscaping, addressing right. the revised parking, uh, addressing the fact that it's um, I think being easier. submitted. Um, does the board want to see that or are we comfortable with just having that submitted to the time? I'll distribute it to you. Okay, but I mean, uh, I guess the question really is, yeah. are we prepared to close this hearing? Yeah. If we can. Are we taking, want to take any more testimony? 
I would entertain a motion to close the one portion of this hearing. So uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. Yeah, 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 I have a question. The sign submittal, could you be uh, a little more clear on that? On the on signs? This? Yeah, on what you were looking for. I wasn't uh, quite uh, well, clear. Off the top of my head, I want it to be clear it's truck entrance only. I think that, that does say that. Yep. I forget what the sign was that you proposed there. Yeah. But I want to be clear about the exit. Mm -hmm. That it's it's. I want to make sure that everybody understands one way traffic. Uh, and do not enter. Mm -hmm. That would that would do it for me. But I'm not sure. I would look for the manual for uniform, uniform yeah. traffic control yeah. devices to suggest a sign that's appropriate. Yeah. It's a directional sign. Our, our traffic. Uh, I want it very clear <laughs> that, that we're not. We're not you know, right. they're not supposed to. That doesn't mean they so won't. Right, but it doesn't that they're not supposed to leave that way? Just Are you suggesting signed on both sides of the? Okay, just so again, if, that, if, if that doesn't conform with the manual, that I, I'm, I'm not, nope. I'm not that, pushing. I'm that. sure that'll be fine. Um, the um, I hate to ask V Trans to put in a sign that doesn't conform to the manual. All our regional sign text so that that goes. Well, um, when I. Uh, Sat down with a, um, Brad and Alec Portalupe, and I we were talking about the circulation issues. And I said, like, well, V Trans wouldn't necessarily allow us to have a second curb cut on the, um, yeah. this property, but um, it seems like it's what <laughs> makes sense here. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, the, the, I find uh, B71 is a little bit confusing there on, on the spacing, mm -hmm. uh, to be very honest with you. You came up with 305 based on speed speed limit, but that's not the not that the only criteria for spacing. It isn't just the speed limit because that, that's about sight distance. Yeah, correct. Um, uh, yeah. I'm pretty comfortable with the 257 feet you have. Well, it's because it's entrance only. Be, especially because it's entrance yeah, only. Yeah, that would not. We would want to look at sight distance. I did not. You did not identify sight distance, but it's not really germane if you're not yeah. people aren't right. coming out. People aren't exiting. Yeah, yeah that would make a big difference. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's the zip Tom, right? Signs, landscaping, uh, revised text. And the parking. Yeah, the, park, the, the yeah. parking yeah. calculation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, you want to make a motion? Or? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a, John made John John John. I was I was halfway through it. Okay, oh, so I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I, 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 you know, my I'm good at that. No so, yeah, I knew that we did. And, uh, um, and, and the party motion is the, that they oh, provide yes. of course. The, uh, the items that we just requested. Yeah. Okay, so there's a second. second. And motion been made and seconded. Discussion on motion. Clarification necessary? If not, uh, all those in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 And we have closed the one point in this hearing. Thank you. 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 The only thing I want to have on agenda is the minutes of the last meeting. I, I was not there. I did not review them. I didn't Are you them. prepared to uh, address those, or do you want to post, postpone them? I didn't read them. I think I should postpone them. Okay. Uh, so uh, uh, let's, let's, let's postpone that, that, that item on the yeah, agenda mm -hmm. Looks like it. the next meeting. Tom Cuff the board. Um, in which case, uh, what I'd like to do is uh, move them to go into the little session. So moved. 